We have a special treat this morning. Uh, Natsuko Iwamoto is going to come sing for us. And uh, she's going to be singing two songs. The first one, if you want to follow the words, will be uh, number 255, if you want to follow in English. But she could have sing in Japanese. So I think everybody in here except me can understand the Japanese. <laughs> so you can just listen to that. And then after that, she'll sing another one, number 278. And on that one, uh, we'll have a special directions as we get to it. But uh, please, uh, Yasuko uh, will come and accompany her. And
Christmas music. Yeah, we. As I mentioned Christmas music, I'll remind you that uh, we'll be having it, uh, of course, now from through the end of the year, and uh, we'll have uh, next week. Uh, let's see, next week we have. I think Ken Sensei and uh, Sasa-san are going to be playing for us next week. And then the week after, we'll have uh, a solo by uh, uh, Takayuki-san. And then on Christmas Sunday, the 24th, we'll have Bernd Bowman here again. And uh, that'll be a special time as well. I had hoped to be able to sing a few solos myself, but uh, <laughs> I ran out of Sundays. That's a shame, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe I could do it next year? <laughs> huh? Yeah, okay. <laughs> what was that? Waiting. Yeah. You'll be waiting. <laughs> yes. Okay. Our scripture reading this, meeting, this morning is uh, from Matthew, the first chapter. <clears throat> starting with the first verse through the 16th chapter, the 16th verse. I'll read in English, and then Kawabe-san will read in uh, Nihongo. And Kawabe-san, I forgot to tell you about all these names, because this is the genealogy of our Lord, or His human genealogy. And... Uh, when you come to a name that you can't quite do it, just kind of mumble it to real know who you mean. <laughs> but this one's easy to find because it's on page one of your uh, Bible. Page one. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Judah and his brothers. Judah begot Perez and Zerah by Tamar. Perez begot Herzon, and Herzon begot Ram. Ram begot Aminadab. Aminadab begot Nahashon, and Nahashon begot Salmon. Salmon begot Boaz by Rahab. Boaz begot Obed by Ruth. Obed begot Jesse, and Jesse begot David the king. David the king begot Solomon by her who had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon begot Rehoboam. Rehoboam begot Ab Abijab. And Abijab begot Asa. Asa begot Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat begot Joram. And Joram begot Uzziah. Uzziah begot Jotham. Jotham begot Ahaz. Ahaz begot Hezekiah. Hezekiah begot Manasseh. Manasseh begot Amon, and Amon begot Josiah. Josiah begot Jehona and his brothers about the time they were carried away to Babylon. And after they were brought to Babylon, Jehona begot Shehel, and Shehel begot Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel begot Abiud, Abiud begot Elikam, Elikam begot Azor, Azor begot Zadok, Zadok begot Achim, Achim begot, begot Eliud. Eliad begot Eliezer, Eliezer begot Matam, Matam begot Jacob, and Jacob begot Joseph, the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. アブラハムの子であるダビデの子、イエスキリストの兄弟。アブラハムはイサクの父であり、イサクはヤコブの父。ヤコブはユダとその兄弟たちとの父。ユダはタマルによるパレスとザラとの父。パレスはエスロンの
。レハベアムの父。レハベアムはアビアの父。アビアはアサの父。アサはヨサパテの父。ヨサパテはヨラムの父。ヨラムはウジアの父。ウジアはヨタムの父。ヨタムはハズの父。アハズはヒビキアの父。ヒビキアはマラスの父。ハナセはアモンの父。アモンはヨシアの父。ヨシアはバビロンへ移された頃、ペコニアとその兄弟たちの父となった。バビロンへ移された後、ペコニアはサラテルの父となった。サラテルはドロバベルの父。ドロバベルはアビンデの父。アビンデはエリアキムの父。エリアキムはアゾルの父。アゾルはサドクの父。サドクはアキムの父。アキムはエリウデの父。エリウデはエレアザルの父。エレアザルはマタンの父。マタンはヤコブの父。ヤコブはマリアの夫、ヨセフの父であった。このマリアからキリストと言われるイエスがお生まれになった。アメン。アメン<笑>ます。Amen. Well, today is the first Sunday in Advent, the period of four weeks that、uh, precedes the celebration of our Savior's birth. So, as we begin Advent, I'd like you to、uh, look again with me at the prophecy. Recorded in 2 Samuel 7:12-13. I say again because we looked at、uh, Jesus' genealogy three or four years ago. The prophecy is addressed to King David and concerns his family. And listen to what it says. When your days are over, now he's speaking to David. When your days are over and you rest with your fathers, I will raise up offspring to succeed you, who will come from your own body and establish his kingdom. He is the one who will build a house for my name. And I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. Now, notice this prophecy said that the Lord would give one of David's descendants an eternal kingdom. よく注意してください。この予言は、主がダビデの子孫の一人に永遠の王国を与えるというものでした。2000 years ago, the Jews were waiting for that person。今から2000年前、ユダヤの人々はその方をお待ち続けていたのです。And they had already been waiting a thousand years。そして彼らは何千年もの間、待ち続けていたのです。But as they waited, they already knew. From the prophecy that he would come from the family of King David. And so, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, one of the first things that Matthew did when he wrote his gospel was to show that Jesus was that person. In other words, he was the Messiah. ま、
But to do that, he had to first show that uh, Jesus was a descendant of King David. Then he, so he started his gospel with these words. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David and the son of Abraham. So you see that it's concerning Jesus' earthly ancestry that Matthew wrote this genealogy. And as he wrote, Matthew's purpose was to prove that our Lord Jesus is first the son of David and second the son of Abraham. Which were the nation and the family from which the Messiah was to come. You see, Abraham and David were the ones who had received the promises from God regarding the Messiah. Abraham received the promise of God's blessing. David received the God's promise of an eternal kingdom. Therefore, if Jesus was the Messiah, two things had to be true. He had to be a descendant of David and he had to be a descendant of Abraham. So Matthew set out to prove these two things from the records of the Jews. And Matthew could do this because the Jews were very exact about keeping their ancestral records. Well, getting back to verse 1, notice how Christ is first called the son of David. That's because that was the title most commonly used by believing Jews in Matthew's time when speaking of Jesus. But also note this, that Matthew doesn't just try to prove that Jesus is a son of David. No, Matthew sets out to prove that Jesus is the son of David on whom the shoulders of the government would rest. Jesus was destined to become the king of Israel. Matthew also shows that he is the son of Abraham who is to be the father of many nations. Notice though, in calling Jesus the son of David and the son of Abraham, Matthew also reminds us that God does keep his promises. You see, when God promised Abraham a son who would be a great blessing to the world, Abraham thought, probably thought it would be his immediate son. 
人の息子が生まれその子供が世界にとって偉大な祝福となると約束された時おそらくアブラハムはそれが自分に生まれる一人の息子であると思ったことでしょう。Instead, it happened 41 generations about 2000 years later. し,しかしそうではなくそれは41世代もの後2000年も経ってから起きたことです。Sometimes God tells us things a long time before they're going to happen. 時々神様はあることが起こることを伝えてくださるときそれが実際に長年の後にそれが起こることがあるのです。But you know that doesn't weaken his promise. <笑>しかしお分かりでしょう、どんなに時代が経っても神様の約束は決して弱められたりすることはありません。そして、このダビデとアブラハムの子は、神様の約束を与えてから非常に長い年月が経って、このように生まれられたんです。And he was born at a time when Abraham's descendants were a despised people. And they were under the rule of Rome. But it was God's time for carrying out his promises. You know, Maybe, maybe God likes to perform His promises when they seem likely or entirely even improbable, maybe even impossible. Now, I don't know that for sure, but maybe. Well, anyway, having examined the prophecy, now look in your Bible at Christ's ancestry in Matthew 1, 1 to 16. Now, maybe you don't have a Bible in front of you, maybe you have your iPhone in front of you, just as long as it's on the scripture and not your email. <laughs> Page one. And notice there's a direct line from Abraham downward. And notice some other things. First, notice that among the ancestors of Christ who had brethren, Christ generally didn't descend from the oldest brother, but from a younger brother. For example, no mentions made of Ishmael, who was the first son of Abraham. Nor is Esau, the first son of Jacob, Isaac, mentioned. They had no part in the ancestral line, even though they were the first sons. Doesn't that seem strange? Especially if you're Japanese. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe God wanted us to see that Christ didn't get his preeminent position from the heritage of his ancestors. So then, just where did Christ's preeminence come from? Ah, Christ's preeminence came from the sovereign will of God the Father. You know, our Father. Likes to exalt persons of low degree.
For example, notice that five women are mentioned in this genealogy. Two of them are mentioned in verse 5 that are originally foreigners to Israel. Notice Rahab. She was a Canaanite. By the way, she was also a harlot. An adulteress. And Ruth was from Moab. This is important because in Jesus Christ, there's neither Greek, nor Jew, nor American, nor Japanese. There's no longer any distinction. All are welcome in Christ to the citizens of heaven itself. And oh, by the way, there are two other adulteresses mentioned in that list. Tamar in verse 3 and Bathsheba in verse 6. So it's the so this sunset in the Tamar to Again, isn't it interesting that not only did our Lord descend from such women, but their place in his family tree was recorded. No attempt was made to hide them. You know, this really, to me, this really shows God's guidance in producing this genealogy. Because I think you know that if man, if man had been making this list, he would have deleted those names that might discredit the royal line by their sinful ways. That's man's way. But this was no problem for Jesus. Romans 8.3 says he even took upon himself the likeness of sinful flesh. And he even accepts sinful Great sinners, not just sinful, but great sinners like me and like you as his children. But maybe there's something else for us to learn here. Maybe this tells us that we need to be more careful really more careful about looking down on other people because of their family background. And then there were other problems with some of our Lord's human ancestors. For example, David's son, Solomon, was born out of David's adulterous relationship with Bathsheba, the wife of Uriah. But when you look at verse 6, you see that that son's name is on the list of Jesus' ancestors. If man had been making this list up, that name would not have been there. 
もし人間がこのリストを作ったとしたらですねそれはそこからもう消し去っていると思います His name would not have been on the family registry in Japan <笑>もし日本の場合はですねあれそういう特にそういうことはもうな,ないようにしていると思います But it's on Jesus genealogy. <笑>しかしイエス様のこの経図に関しては Maybe he's there to show that David's crime for which he was repentant did not hinder the promise of the Lord. In fact, God used that adulterous woman to fulfill his promise. 神様は、カイの罪のある女性を、ご自分の見約束の成就のためにお持ちになったのです。Another thing we see in this list is that several kings are named, but not their title. もう一つ気づくのは、このリストの中には、王の名前が数名出てくるのですが、タイトルであるをという身分の分かることはついていません。Only David is expressly called a king because it was with him that the royal agreement was made. Regarding the promised, the kingdom of the promised Messiah. The Messiah, who the Gospel writer Luke said would inherit the throne of his father David. ルカ1章32節によるとその子は偉大な人となり意図高き方のことを言われるとメシアは福音書に書かれたルカによってダビデ王の王座を削ることになっているから Notice too there was, there was a mixture of good and bad in the succession of these kings またキリス,リストの中にある王たちの中には良い王もあれば悪い王も混在しています For example in verses 7 and 8 from wicked Rehoboam Was born wicked Abijah. But from wicked Abijah was born good Asa. And from good Asa was born good Jehoshaphat. Sounds great, doesn't it? <laughs> But from good Jehoshaphat was born wicked Joram. Now, all this tells us something else. It tells us that God's grace, God's undeserved favor, does not run in families. But then again, neither does dominant sin run in families. God gives his grace and withholds his grace as he pleases. But then finally, in verse 16, I want you to look at verse 16. Finally, In verse 16, the line is brought down to Joseph. But look closely at that verse, and you see that、G、Joseph is not listed as Jesus' father. He couldn't be, since God the Father was Jesus' father. Instead, Joseph is listed, look at verse 16, Joseph is listed as the husband of Mary, of whom was born Jesus, who's called the Christ. So then you might ask, why then was Joseph at all? I'm so glad you asked that. <laughs> He's listed because the Jews always listed their genealogies by the males. 
I apologize to the ladies. <laughs> well, that's it. That's the genealogy of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's quite a list, isn't it? 41 names covering 2,000 years. But they varied considerably in spirituality, personality, and experience. Some were heroes of the faith. Some had really terrible reputations. Some were very famous people. Some were very ordinary. Some were very good people. Others were extremely bad and evil people. <laughs> But they're all there because in his humanity they are all ancestors of our Lord Jesus Christ. And they're all there because God has no limitations and He can do His work using anybody. Even me. This, of course, is obvious since He's used all kinds of people to bring us. Where this, to where this ancestral line ended in verse 16. And when you look at verse 16, you see where it says, Mary, by whom was born Jesus, is called the Christ. Remember, Christ is not his name. It's a Greek title which translated into English means anointed one or king. This is he, the Messiah, the Christ, the king whom Israel so desired, for whom they so patiently waited. This is he whom all the patriarchs looked forward to when they had children. Yeah, they hoped and they prayed that their child might have the honor of being in the sacred line. Praise the Lord. Today, we see what those prophets and kings could only see faintly. We clearly see Jesus, the Messiah. The apostles once asked Jesus, Art thou the Christ, the anointed one? Remember that? Why did they ask? They asked because David, the king, was anointed. Yes, Jesus is the anointed one, the Messiah, the Christ, and the king. So then at the end of these 41 generations, Christ came forth. Born of Mary, who though a virgin, engaged to Christ, engaged to Joseph, the carpenter, was blessed amongst women, as God had chosen her. 
マリアは全ての女性の中から1人神様に選ばれた恵まれた女性でした She was chosen to bring forth the one who would be the glory of his people Israel 彼女は神のためイスラエルの人々の栄光となるそのお方王を生むために選ばれた女性だったのです the king. イスラエルの王 But not just the king. No, the king of kings, whom we not only serve, but we worship. This morning, as we consider who he is, let's come together and let's adore him. そのお方のことを我々は考えてきました。共に一緒にこのお方を礼拝しましょう。Adore him, Christ the Lord. 我々の主である救い主、キリストをいざや来たりて拝まずや。There's a favorite of mine that I'd like you to sing as we think about this.That heritage that he had on the human side. But look on the divine side, Son of God. He left heaven's glory to come be part of the mess here on earth. My favorite, one of my favorite songs is Thou Didst Leave Thy Throne. It's number 292. 292 in your hymnal. If you stay seated and just、uh, turn there and let's, let's look at that hymn. Thou didst leave thy throne and didst l e a v e home when thou camest to earth for me. Promised, he came, and as promised, 
Lord, he made the great sacrifice that all we need do is believe and we know. And Father, yes, my heart shall rejoice when thou comest and callest for me. Father, bless us this Christmas time. Give to us, Lord, a special blessing. And then cause us, Lord, remind us to share the blessing with those we meet along the way, especially to share with relatives and friends this great truth <coughs> that Jesus came. He came as promised. <coughs> now, my brothers and sisters, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This is my prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.